We already have our Genexus application that interacts with the Chat Assistant and a RAG Assistant. We're now going to enable the possibility of generating images. For that, we're going to use the Proxy API to interact with an AI system that can generate images from a description in natural language. Let's go to Genexus to our knowledge base. We've already created a web panel called Create Images where we enable the end user to enter a brief description and select the size of the image to be generated. The functionality that we want to achieve is the code in the event associated with the Create Image button. And for that, we must create a procedure that receives the description and size of the image as input parameters and returns the URL of the generated image. From that URL, We'll show the image in the generated image variable included in the web panel form. We go to Tools, Integration Application, Curl Inspector. We name it Generate Images and load the curl sample, which in this case corresponds to the interaction of the proxy API with DALI2. As we already know, this generates the base procedure, where we'll complete the connection definition with the necessary data according to our context. First, we declare the PARM rule to receive the description and size of the image and return the URL of the generated image. Let's analyze the source. We define the HTTPS connection protocol, define the host, the project API token, and define the body of the request so that it considers the input parameters corresponding to the description and size of the image required by the end user. Then we define the post for its execution. What happens to the response received? We repeat the same process as in the previous examples. From Postman, we save the request response and import the file into our knowledge base using the option Tools, Application Integration, JSON import. We name it My Images, and this generates the following structured data type, where the URL element of the first item of the data collection will correspond to the URL of the generated image and will be the output parameter of our procedure. So we define the My Images variable based on the SDT and load it with the request response by applying the from JSON method, as we've already seen in the previous examples. Finally, we load the image URL variable with the value of the URL element of the first item of the data collection. Once this procedure has been defined, we must call it from the event associated with the web panel button. So we make the call and receive its output in the image URL variable. Finally, the generated image variable included in the form is loaded with the image obtained from the URL received. To test it, we press F5. First, we're going to ask for an image of the Eiffel Tower at night, and we choose 512 by 512 as its size. If we don't like the image we receive, we ask for another one. Let's look at other more creative examples, like a smiling red pencil. Or a flying blue piggy, sized 256 by 256. or the pyramids of Egypt, and the flag of Uruguay. 